YouTube welcome back to my channel this video is going to be a video that I in my mind said I was not going to do I had started a whole list of like anti-haul items that stuff that I am just not going to be buying this year and I have already messed that up and bought one of the things that was on that list this is the Urban Decay Naked Reloaded palette. When I actually saw the palette in person, the palette is gorgeous. So I had to pick it up. The price of this palette is $44. And it seems like to me that the Naked palettes are sort of trending down in price. Like we had gotten up to about $54 for like the Naked 2, Naked 3 type palettes. Then the Naked Cherry was $49, and now this one is $44. So they seem to be getting a little bit more affordable. The packaging is absolutely gorgeous. This is the actual box that it comes in, and of course it shows you the shades, the shadows on the back with the shade names on the back of the box. When you open the box, and I had never really heard anybody explain to me what the like fabric of this packaging was it's not that hard plastic packaging or that tin packaging that they've been coming out with nor is it that sort of velvety felt like packaging that the original naked palette came in it is sort of a satiny cushiony type covering cushiony on the front but like hard probably cardboard on the back but nobody ever explained like the texture of this when i picked it up and I opened it and touched it I was like hmm, that is it's really nice but nobody had explained that so you have the sort of satiny texture with the I think orchids on the front of it and naked urban decay naked reloaded is I guess heat pressed on the front of it in gold so really pretty packaging and of course this is just what the back looks like and when you open it up they have the mirror here and thank god they put this sort of frosted covering over the mirror so i won't have to blind you all but these are what the shades look like and this palette is absolutely gorgeous to me the shades i think are a little bit more rich in person than they come across on screen for me like my, my lights are really bright so they kind of kind of wash it out but I had heard a lot that this palette was very, very similar to um, ABH's Sultry palette. And I have that from my makeup basket that week. So, of course, I pulled the two out. And I will show you that. They are very, very similar. Very, very similar. The browns look the same. This little sort of peachy color here on this one looks a little bit lighter. This one in the ABH is a little bit deeper, but the whole vibe of both palettes are pretty much the same. If you have the ABH palette, you do not need this palette. But if you are a collector of the Naked palettes like I am, then of course I say go ahead and get it. The palette this time is a little bit slimmer. I have the old Naked palette. And it's a little bit slimmer. This one, of course, is like the original when they first came out. And it came with a pencil. The subsequent ones came out with a brush. This has neither, which I don't mind at all. I don't need that excess patch packaging. I don't need that excess brush that I never use. And I think that kind of brought the price down a little bit. So I'm kind of glad they went that way. Because all I was really interested in were the shadows. I am going to do some swatches, but I first want to sort of compare the new Naked Reloaded to the old Naked Palette. Now, the old Naked Palette is my absolute fave of all of the Nakeds. And I did buy another one when they said they were going, they were being discontinued. I bought a backup of it, but this is the original and this is on top. And as you can see, the one on top to me looks a little bit more updated as to what people are wearing, colors people are wearing now. I mean, this one down here is classic, but the one on the top 
seems a little bit more updated. It's not as cool toned, which I like as well. I feel like you have a few more mattes in the Reloaded palette, which I'm glad they put that in because mattes are hard to come by sometimes. This one has, it looks like maybe two. Is that one virgin? Maybe or maybe not be. But maybe two good mattes in that one. And at the top here, you have one, two, three, four, five, six. maybe six after I swatch it. But you have more mattes in the new palette than you do in the old one. I am going to get to swatching this palette. I am also going to swatch some of the shades in this palette and the Naked palette and the um, Anastasia palette to do like some ones that kind of look a lot alike. So let's get started. I am going to swatch just the, the Reloaded palette first. And this first one here, we'll start here. This first one, mm, let's do it here. I always do that. Like I always swatch it on the, the, the exact wrong part. We'll start down here. So this first one here is called Brab. The second one is Barely Naked. This one here is angel fire and i'm not doing like really really good swatches just like some representative swatches i forgot to say you have 12 shades in here and i also forgot to say the shades that they thought that you would use the most of and where you see my fingers on the two ends of the palette those are slightly larger than the other the other shades all right so we are going to continue this one is retro and this one is the one that is similar to the ABH bloom color. The next one is reputation and that is really pretty. Next is burn also really pretty. Then you have a matte dark brown here which is kind of cool. This one is called end game. Um, after that, you have this shade Dream Weaver, which when I swatch it feels a little bit dry and it doesn't quite swatch as well as the other ones. It is right here. It is a really pretty color, but it doesn't swatch that well at all. This one here is Distilled. Then you have Bucked which is almost my skin tone, so, well, yes, well, it's a little darker than my skin tone, so that would be a good crease color for me. You have boundaries here, and the last one is called blur, and that is here. I would, hmm, that's a horrible swatch, girl. I would use this one, or the, this one, or this one as a brow bone color and I didn't realize that my glasses were sliding off my face. All right, so those are all of the shades and we are gonna try to swatch the dupes without removing these and see if I have enough arm space here. So I'm gonna first swatch Bloom and Bloom is here. And you can see Bloom, this is from the ABH palette, is slightly deeper than the retro color. All right, so next, um, ones that appear kind of, let's see, kind of similar to me. Um, this shade Reputation, which is right here. And I kind of blocked it with Bloom. And the Rose Quartz from ABH. Let's kind of swatch that right here. Nope, not the same. The ABH one is way more reflective too. Cinder. Let's see. Cinder is the ABH in the shade Distilled. Which I think Distilled is here. I feel like those might be kind of close. 
or maybe teak. So we'll swatch cinder and we'll swatch teak. And this one is cinder here. And then this one is, I swatched it in the wrong place. This one is the teak color. So it's close to that teak color to me. Also, the shade Bucked and the shade Buck from the original palette. This is Bucked right here, that third one. And then this is Buck from the original palette. To me, I mean, they kind of, they have the same name, but one is cool and one is not. Those browns, um, Endgame, which is here, and Dystopian from ABH. Dystopian, I think, is deeper. But those are those. They do look very similar. And the shade, let's see, the shade Bribe and the shade Virgin. I think Virgin is a bit of a satin. This is the shade Brab down here, and this is the shade Virgin. So Virgin is a little bit more white than Brab, but let's also swatch the shade Fresh from the ABH palette. And it is a little, mm, I mean, to me, I think it is still very similar. I think that, let me see, let me make sure here. I think, oh, those gold colors. So you have Barely Baked, which is the second one here. And then you have Half Baked. And Half Baked is here. And they are enough alike that uh, they could have done something different let me re-swatch barely baked a little bit more but yeah when you look at them they are a heck of a lot alike i think that's it oh let's also swatch that shade steampunk from abh it might be a little bit more of an antique gold so it might not be this nah way more pigmented in a completely different color so right here is that steampunk but that is it, you all. That is all of these swatches. And I am going to wipe this stuff off my arm. And that is it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you are already subscribed to my channel, please make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I have a new video coming out. Have a great day and may your day be as flawless as your makeup. Bye.